Oh, hi, thanks for watching. So today I'm building a kawaii style cafe. The colors don't make sense, but that's the point. That's the point of it, all right? So enjoy, I hope you do. I've been, been thinking a lot lately, been thinking a lot about life. Just specifically, um, I've been thinking about um, not so much how much life has changed, but how much uh, I've changed. Like me and my friends were talking about how old we are. <laughs> and don't get me wrong, I know we're not old. <laughs> but, you know, when you're used to being in your 20s, I mean, I still am, and I still will be for a little while, but um, getting close to 30, which I know is not old, okay? Don't come at me. I know 30 is not old. But it does feel... Um, it does feel strange going from being in your 20s to being in your 30s and it does feel like kind of the end of an era I suppose and a little bit like you're um, just kind of saying goodbye to that that part of your life you know you're still young but not young young you know you're not you're not an innocent little thing anymore no no, you're, a, you're an adult who has seen a fair bit of what life is like. And it just made me reflect. And uh, usually, and my friends will know this, I proper throw a strop when I have to think about being, <laughs> being old. I hate the thought of getting older. But you know what? I think, I think I might have changed. I think my perception of that has changed. And I wanted to talk about that today for... Um, the fellow viewers I might have who are similar to my age, or maybe you're, maybe you're not, maybe you're just entering into a new life phase that you feel is th the same as getting older in your eyes. And there are a few things that I've noticed have uh, happened since I've started to, you know, leave the 20s phase of my life that I'm actually not annoyed about. You know, I'm quite pleased about it. So I kind of thought I might just share them in this voiceover so that those of you who are in the same place as me, um, you have something to look forward to because it's not all doom and gloom getting older. You know, there are some really good things and I thought I'd share some of them with you now. So one of them, and this, albeit I, I accept, isn't so much in reference to my 20s and more my teens, but it's still... Uh, a factor and that is that I don't have to pretend to be a robot around boys anymore you know when I was a teenager I used to pretend to be a robot and pretend that I didn't eat or sleep or go to the bathroom and although now I'm married I can still honestly say if I was single and I was seeing a guy and we were say ordering pizza I'm eating my fucking pizza I don't give a shit and I'll have one of those as well while I'm at it. So fuck you, boys. Another thing that's quite nice when you, um, when you have accepted that you're not down with the kids anymore is the relief of not having to learn the lingo or even worry. You know, I don't have to keep up with the lingo or worry about what bougie or lit or okur means. The latest one I've heard is bet, which means okay. But because it's still new, I just hear people say, OK, bet. What's the fucking point? You've already said OK. So, yeah, that's good. Don't have to worry about that anymore. Also, um, I just keep coming at you with these benefits, man. Keep coming at you. Another one is that I don't have to worry about... I no longer suffer from FOMO, which is what we kind of young, kind of old people abbreviate for fear of missing out. So if the options are either hit the club or sit in the bath with two bottles of wine to myself and cry, there's no competition as to what I'm going to be doing that night. It's not, I mean, I'm not going to lie, it's not all swings and roundabouts. There are some things that are a little bit bleak, you know. Um, I've developed a love-hate relationship with the news, so sometimes I feel that I should watch the news because I'm an adult, but then I do and realise that everything is bollocks and we're all going to die. So then I stop watching the news. <laughs> to think some people think I'm a glass half empty character. And I've also noticed 
which isn't necessarily a good thing, but I've also noticed that uh, I've got more of a resistance to change. <laughs> I noticed on my Spotify that I listen to the same songs. I know what I like. I looked on the top 40 charts and I realised that I didn't know a single song on there. Not one. <laughs> Uh, but, you know, on the uh, on the flip side, I'm just going to keep doing good things and bad things. And one of the good things is that I am far more tolerant now than I have ever been. I've just learnt that you have to let people get on with their lives. You want to go on holiday without your kids? You deserve it. You want to have ice cream for dinner every single night? You fucking go for it, you nutcase. It's none of my business what you get up to in the evenings with your houseplant as long as it's not a cactus. I've also noticed um, that I cry a lot more <laughs> than I did when I was younger um, over things that I think arguably um, don't warrant any tears. So cry over movies. When we run out of Pringles, I cry. When I stand on the scales, I cry, despite the fact that nothing snuck up on me. Those extra pounds, I did that to myself. I still fucking cried about it. So <laughs> I'm a lot more of an emotional wreck. So that's something we've all got to look forward to, everybody. Now, nah, it probably doesn't happen to everyone, but um, it, it did happen to me. I think, to be honest, it's more of a result of just years of uh, built up refusing to show any kind of emotion when I was a teenager because when I was a teenager my main focus was being on all deep and mysterious so I, I was not emotional at all when I was younger so I think this is kind of all of those years worth of emotion just sneaking up on me right now sneaky sneaky but I honestly do feel like um, I'm starting to see why some people say life begins at 30 and I'm actually starting to see the um, the mentality behind that because I am feeling it. Like, I'm really feeling a sense of just really not caring <laughs> about what people think. Um, and I think no matter how many times you might say it, when you're, like, young, as in young, like, teenager or in your 20s, you do give a shit about what people think. And you probably say you don't because it's cool to be like, yeah, I don't give a fuck what people think. But you do. We all do. All right. Can the act. But when you're like around your 30s, I'm starting to feel that sense of just not giving a shit. Like actually not, you know. I could leave my house and go to the shop every day wearing cat ears, rubber gloves and a poncho. And it wouldn't even occur to me that anyone would look at me and think it was weird and the beauty of that is even if they did I wouldn't mind <laughs> it really wouldn't matter <laughs> to be honest if I saw someone walking around the shop wearing fucking cat ears rubber gloves and a poncho I probably would look at them but you know what I'd be thinking I'd be thinking hmm respect yeah that's what I would be thinking <laughs> and I'm sure most people wouldn't be thinking that but in my head that's what other people would think of me with my fucking poncho. They would be thinking, yeah, respect. That girl, she knows who she is. She ain't. <laughs> She's not pretending to be anyone that she isn't. Anyway, I'm going to end this video now, so I will. Feel free to get involved in the comments. Let me know how things have changed for you, your outlook on life. You know, let's get deep. Why not? Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.